Why are you so sore, Bobby? I'm doing basketball training, intensive basketball training every morning. What's up, guys? It's your girl Joy and Bobby. Poor Bobby. Okay. So, just wanted to give an update on how she's feeling. She was crying and stuff, and I didn't want to film her doing that because she probably would be like she wasn't in the mood. But you know, it was raw footage. It was raw. I would have been so mad if you would have did that. Really? Yes, I would have been so, because I wasn't, I was not in the right headspace for that. Yeah, but when you're vlogging, if you vlogging, your whole life is a vlog. Which, sometimes I just don't be turning on the camera, but your whole life is a vlog. You want to capture these moments. And I also told, as I digressed, and I also told Bobby uh, that I think she should vlog in school i told her all her aunties and uncles and cousins and sisters and brothers told her that everybody said that she should um vlog in college so we can still follow along on her journey i mean we followed her through her high school journey and i would love to get an inside view i'm quite sure people who are going to college what to expect you know just to see what that experience is like via vlog and then also she's leaving those memories for her future children just like although i vlog and it may not be interesting to everybody but at the end of the day my kids will have the ups and downs the things that i didn't do right um that they can share with their children and when i'm gone she'd be like oh look at grandma grandma know she was wrong for that look i would not do that so you can learn from somebody else's mistakes as well so i think it would be awesome to have that footage for her own children so i did tell her everybody said she should vlog and we want to keep in touch with you and see your progress and success as you go on to your next chapter of life right <laughs> And so, like I uh, showed in the previous vlog, Bobby was in an accident, and um, we're still trying to get in touch with the um, other guy's insurance. It's the case manager, something like that. Um, but I want Bobby to be there, and she was busy today. So, so what happened with that accident? Oh. And I wanted you guys to see that she's she's fine. Oh yeah, I'm okay. I was more like I was upset when it happened, not because like I was hurt or anything, but it was just the fact that like I just got that car, and then it it was just like now I'm more frustrated because it's like that wasn't it wasn't my fault, but I'm the one who's punished for it, and like mm -hmm. I, my car took the brunt of like that whole accident, and he walked off fine. But, like, I'm going to be out of commission without a car for weeks. And, like, I had plans, like, coming up where, like, I needed my car. But it's, like... Well, we're going to see. We I'll call tomorrow by myself because it's ridiculous. Well, I get I wake up late anyway. So, I'll probably be up to about 4 or 5 in the morning. But it, it's just frustrating for sure. Like, so, when you come home, what time do you have to go to work? I don't work tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow if you get home shortly after I wake up, because she goes to training. And since I stay up late, my schedule is off. So tomorrow, don't make plans before you leave this house. Before, Or you can take the number you could call. No, I don't know that kind of stuff. Neither do I. <laughs> I've never been in no accident. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but yeah, it was just some guy pulled out in front of me the last minute and I couldn't stop fast enough. Um, but it was frustrating, but. So it's it like she was driving. So you got this, this side comes this way. She was going this way. The store to the grocery store is right here. But if she was going to the grocery store, she would have went in. So this guy coming this way wanted to turn into her lane to get into the grocery store. So, mister, you didn't look both ways. Really, you only had to look one way for the oncoming traffic who has the right of way. Correct? And so she's driving. I guess he really wanted something from the grocery store. And 
she's driving down the street and he just makes a wide turn yeah it was i don't know if he thought he could make it or what but it, it was ridiculous and it he didn't say one word to me after and then he tried to blame it on me but it was like you cannot blame that on me like i had the right of way like you were going out of your way so and that's just why he got the ticket yeah like it was it was just ridiculous and it, it's just frustrating that like it was just my car like yeah i showed you in a video i showed the back of his car too um just minimal damage just i wouldn't even if it was me i wouldn't even bother getting that fixed just very minimal but hers the whole front of my car jacked up so i don't know how long that's gonna how long it's gonna take but i don't know it's just so frustrating like oh God. but they do some amazing things at body shops and hopefully it's only body work um we we didn't lift the um the hood of the car i don't even know if it'll open but she just drove it just around the complex to see because sydney is back in town so it's like everybody's life is upside down again and i want to take a few days to um go to the beach by myself and just <laughs> Just to make it feel like I did just a little something this summer. Just to sit there. So it's like, can I can I do one. something? Can I do something for me? But well, I didn't ask for this to oh, happen. Oh no, no, I'm not blaming you. I said Sydney back in town. Cause she doesn't sit still at all. Look, she gone tomorrow off with plans. She trying to make her little money to save up for a little car. She wants a little car so bad. And man. So anyway, that's what she's trying to get little jobs and stuff. And so, but what I told Bob, he at the end of the day, like I said this before, you know, this could have been something much worse and could have ended her whole little basketball career. So I was like, it's a setback, but that's what makes you stronger and make you a warrior. You've been there, done that, you overcame that, move on next, the world did not end. So although you're living through this ordeal right now, in another week or two, when you get your ride back, you'll be like, baby, I was upset, but let me tell you. So therefore, when you have these life experiences, it adds to your wisdom. And that's why they call old people wise people, because they've been through so much. So that's why it's crazy when teens tell me, oh, you don't know, you don't know. I'm like, been there, done that. Yeah, it might be a different day, different time, but I've been through that experience with that boy, this, this, and that. You'll be okay. And when this is all behind you, it'll be part of a life experience that you add to your wisdom. When somebody else goes through this situation, you'll be like, oh, things could have been worse. Your car still drives. It's not total, girlfriend. I've been there. You're going to be okay. Just in a couple of weeks, you're going to be back on the road, and this is just going to be the past. You will live, okay? Okay, sis, I've been there, okay? So therefore, it gives you that wisdom to help someone else along their journey. That's what. That's where the wisdom comes from. It makes you a wise person. Some people, she was born like an old lady. <laughs> she looked like an old Indian lady when she was born. I was like, oh dear God, you know how the babies change? I prayed she changed. And then about six months, she looked like a little baby doll. Then you look like a little doll, baby. She looked like a little baby doll. <laughs> so, I'm glad. I, you know, I'm sorry she had to go through this experience. But like I said before, I don't know what I said, y'all. I'm always talking, so sometimes I forget what I say. So when you hear stuff that I say over and over again, just pretend like you're hearing it for the first time. And I got that from Joel Osteen. I love Joel. I like his message. Um, it seems like he's always talking to me. If you don't know Joel Osteen, then Google him. <laughs> um, he would say when somebody is telling him something that he has already heard, they already told him, but they don't remember that they told him. He said he listens like it's the first time that they're telling him. He said, why, you know, 
bust their bubble and then the excitement is there so he says he just listens as though it's the first time and I think I've picked that up that was a something that stuck with me and I do I don't remember as much as I used to and the kids get so annoyed I not get out already I'm like I don't even remember my own phone number you think I'm gonna remember your whole schedule so Bobby I have a question So, can all your aunties, uncles, and cousins? No. No, I'm not talking about that. Meet your friend? No, I'm Why? I'm not Why we can't meet him? It'll be fun. Because, no, baby, you know we're going to get the scoop. We're going to get the scoop. I'm not. Please. No. Why not? No. I don't know. You have something to show your future children. No. Bobby, no. don't do us like that. Why? No, I'm not. Why? <laughs> I'm not putting that out there like that. Not that part. Anything else but not that part. Oh, I couldn't do the accident. Can't do this. You saying I, I, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I just know. Maybe one day, but not. No, right now. Well, anyway, you don't need no boyfriends right now. Friends are okay. Anyway. Platonic friends. What? Why? That's your boyfriend? No. They too high. Your goal is your career school basketball enjoy the experience just have fun for now no right. commitments mm -mm. you're too young for that you know so you're telling me when you were my age you weren't at 18 17 i have boyfriends yeah <laughs> i was a little <laughs> bad <laughs> You're telling me no commitments, it's not, but I like... Had boy, I had friends. I had boyfriends. Okay. And it was sick. I wasn't looking for marriage or anything like that. I'm well, just... nobody's looking for that. And then, you know, I waited till I was married anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. See... This goes back to the whole wisdom thing. Oh, okay. Because I want, oh, okay. I don't want you to repeat oh, okay. the same mistakes that I made. How old were you? Probably 19. Yeah. <laughs> I was an ugly duckling. It just took a little while for me to blossom. 19? Yeah. But, like I said, with the wisdom, in hindsight, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. In hindsight, looking back on that, and that's where the wisdom comes from. And that's what some parents, they want, they don't want their children to make the same mistakes that we've made. Because we lived it and we knew we know how it turned out. So I just feel as though when it comes to boys, I say have friends at this juncture in your life. Your focus should be school. Have friends, but no commitments right now. You're just what? starting out. Enjoy life. Have fun. But wait till you marry. None about that part. <laughs> None about that part. But I don't know. I just go with the flow. I just go with the flow. What does that mean? I'm no, not, I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not talking about that part. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. We're just, like, going out. Like, But you're just friends right now? Yeah. It's nothing serious right now. 
I'm just going with the flow. Okay. Like just for two different states. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Never know. We'll see. We'll see. But we're still gonna try to aim for marriage, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wasn't talking about that part. <laughs> I was not talking about that. think hopefully you make the right choices that I, I think you will but marriage should be your goal because what you have is something that's very very special baby if I could turn back time I want a refund <laughs> I need a refund from you I want to take it back <laughs> if I could turn back time I want it all back that I gave it away for free. <laughs> we should make a video where I ask you questions. About the first time? We had that conversation. No, we didn't. I had it with Sydney. Then I have the, the sex talk with Sydney. I did a video on that. You probably be hiding somewhere under the bed somewhere. Yeah, I had the sex talk with Sydney. I don't remember that. You got questions you want to ask me? Yeah. What kind of questions? Just like, un like uncomfortable questions that you wouldn't want to ask your mom. Have you never seen those videos? But I don't know if you want your business on blast like that. <laughs> you put my business out there. They're not even gonna know what we're talking about. It's just gonna be confusing. What? Cause then <laughs> I have students on my business. Oh yeah, that's so true. <laughs> he tired. So, so her workout's been busting her tail. Oh I'm excited for her cause he's he's been working her hard. She says she's been doing stuff you you've never done before, right? What is that new machine you did? Something called the frog machine. It's so bad. And I have two workouts on Friday. Oh, you doing two a days? I have I work with him in the morning and then I work with my other trainer at night on Friday. Possibly. I haven't talked to him since, but we'll see. Okay, she's getting ready for school. I'm glad you've had this opportunity to at least get some training in. I know. I wish I would have started at the beginning of the summer. I was playing around with other trainers. Yeah. So annoying. But huh? better late than never. That is true, and I feel like this month will knock me right into shade. Well, good. He said this, he's gonna get me in the best shape of my life. So I like him a lot. I do too. I'm glad things didn't work out. Here we go. Sometimes rejection is for your protection. Remember that, cause she was so set on this other trainer. It was hard to connect with him. Um, when I when we asked about price, he says, "What do you want to pay?" It was just, it was just, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Not evasive. It was um, something that's unclear. It's a word I'm looking for. Unclear? No, I'll figure that word out. It was just too. It was. It. it okay. It, it, w it it just didn't go right and Bobby really wanted that trainer she did um a test train with him right yeah. and he was good like it was good like you got like it was kind of like the same thing that I'm doing now like it wasn't just about basketball you also worked out um but he did like more weights and stuff but the trainer I'm at now it's definitely like all like everything but I feel like I get better work that I, I am I'm doing now than I would have with him mm-hmm and it just, it was just to, I, I leave the words in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about. It'll come to me as soon as I stop, press stop on this thing. Is this over the eye? I don't know. Um, vague, 
Yeah, it just, I guess you feel like vague. Yeah, everything is vague, and it, I'm like, huh? But, you tell me. Then it was hard to get calls from. She texted him. I called. It was just too much running around to do. And so with this guy, and I was like, remember, we still have Butch. We still have Butch. Check him out. And she really, really likes Butch. So maybe the rejection was for her protection. Because let me tell you, honey, Butch, Butch is on it. He don't play. Yeah. I called him and then I was in the gym. He wanted to have me in the gym the next day. Mm -hmm. I couldn't because of work, but I changed my work schedule. So I train with him in the mornings and then I work at night. Every day. Every day, every day, every day. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Oh, you don't work Saturdays? Hmm? You don't work Saturdays? With him? Oh, you talking about Monday to Friday training? I training in the morning and then I work at night and then Saturday, Sunday, I work all day. It's rough. Yeah. Especially about 3 o'clock. Because I go straight from training and then go to work. It's. See, that's when you can do this stuff when, you, when you're young. <laughs> yeah. But. I'm okay for my car accident, just yeah. inconvenienced and frustrated, annoyed, and okay. yeah, it, okay. it could have been worse, I know that for sure, but, um, yeah. It'd be okay. And it's like, as soon as I walked up, <laughs> she was sitting in her car and this lady was such an angel. Oh, yeah. I texted her. Oh, you did? Yeah. No, the her. lady, she was like my witness. She was standing, she was in the car behind the guy who I hit, who pulled out in front of me. And she had like, because um, I didn't know what to do. I was by myself. Like, I had no idea what to do. And mm -hmm. she, I saw her walking up to the car and she like asked if I was okay. She, she said she saw everything that happened. And then she stayed with me the entire time. Like, she never left. She never left me. And she called the police for me. Like, she talked to them for me. She did everything for me. Mm -hmm. She told me what to do. Like, I didn't know anything about what to do in that situation. I didn't know I had to call the police. Like, because I know some people just handle it, like, between each other. Oh, you need that police report. Yeah. You need the but, police report. But, because that, that guy wasn't... Mm -mm. He wasn't doing that. Like I just, I didn't know, and I was so like, I was in such shock. I was like, I, I just, I just kind of sat there. Um, she stayed with Bobby. She was like a little guardian angel. Yeah. So I texted her, and she has not responded. Oh, so I, she did. I said, "Hi, Miss Hubbard. I want to thank you again for staying with my daughter, Bobby, during her ordeal." You are truly an angel. Thank you so much. We are still dealing with the guy's car insurance, so hopefully we'll have a definitive answer soon. Poor baby. She's still upset, and it puts pressure on me again to share my little car, but it's okay. And I said, you're the best. She says, you are so welcome. She is such a sweet soul, and my heart was breaking for her. Sending positive thoughts your way that everything is resolved quickly, and she is back in her car soon. Yeah, she was so sweet. Like, so sweet. Yeah. Did so she drive a nice car? Yeah. So, car. I'm glad. I don't know. So, I'm glad she was there to be with Bobby until I got there. She was so sweet. She had a teacher, a teacher spirit to me. Yeah, I, I can see feeling teacher from her. But I was very, very grateful um, for that lady. Um, and grateful that she was there. And she wasn't in no rush. She she was probably there well over an hour. Yeah, I don't I don't know. She stayed with me from like start to finish. Mm -hmm. um, she sure did. She stayed until the cops uh, drove off. Yeah, she was she was so sweet because I was I would have been so lost. Mm -hmm. I would have been so, oh my I probably oh god I don't know what I would have done like because y'all didn't answer the phone right away and I was like. Um, well, I saw it. I don't know what I was doing, and then I was calling you back. I was calling you back, and then you called me back. Then you called again. Uh, was, you know, my phone has no sound. So, my phone, I just have the sound off. 
So, you know, Barack Obama be calling me and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We have talked to you to death. Um, still trying to work on Bobby. I really, really hope that she decides to vlog while she's in school so we can get a chance to follow her along her life journey. Since we went through high school, we would love to continue through college. And I want to see what's going on, too. And you know, it'll keep us all connected because you know we're family and stuff. So we won't want to see. And then it'll help Sydney. And she's ready. She went down there for orientation. So Bobby's about to get her keys in a couple of weeks. Um, and Clinton is about to get his keys too, honey. Did you do the thing? So you just paid? No, I don't know why I got the money. What'd you do? We'll talk about that later. All up in our business. You better ABC your way out of our conversation. You better Google me, boo. <laughs> Bye.